Reverend Evans and to the other ministers of the gospel, to our officers of the church and to our, all of our auxiliaries and to our visitors. And, and let me just say to all of my father's children, good evening. Turn in your Bibles, if you will. I'm not going to ask you to stand because we are short-timed here and I know we want to try to get out of here at 12 o'clock. But, but let's look at John, the third chapter. And I'm going to read very quickly for you. Verses 1 through 7. You find it. There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. The same came to Jesus by night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from God. For no man can do these miracles that thou doest except God be with him. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter a second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born of the water and of the spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh. And that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. Marvel not that I say unto you, you must be born again. And so I started to ask myself as I focused on this scripture, why is it that it's our desire to do God's will? Why does that desire often go neglected? We keep wishing, wanting, and going through the motions that we're going to do great things for God, that we're going to get better. But if we are not careful, we find ourselves in the same spiritual rut of years gone by. And sometimes even worse, we take one step forward and we take two steps backwards. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Well, what I want to tell you this evening is God works as he is allowed in our life. He will move us according to the space we give him. In other words, he loves us so that he allows us to make a choice. Furthermore, in some cases, we just have head knowledge about God. But how many of y'all know that head knowledge is just not good enough? Matter of fact, it was, well, let me, let me, let me just back up just a little bit. We have to have heart knowledge. Religion can't do it. That's what I really want us to get. Religion can't do it. Matter of fact, religion kills folks. That's what put Jesus on the cross. He was killed by religious people. But God is the I am. His son Jesus came to do his will. He said, I'm the living bread. I'm your everything. Even in a time of trouble, he said, I'll never leave you. And Shiloh and our visitors, I believe that. Do you? He says, I'll never leave you and I'll not forsake you. God desires to be the Lord of our life. And if he is the Lord of our lives, we're new creatures. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians 5 and 17, if any man be, a creature, be in Christ, he's a new creature. So the only way, if in this new year we want to be a new creature, we got to be in Christ. As we approach this conversation, my question is, do you want to be a new Christian? Creature, And I know I'll have to leave some of what I have to say out because of our time. But I'm not saying for us to just get better. Do you want to be a new you? Brand new you? Continually new you? And not make one step forward and two steps backwards? Often when we start thinking about newness, we start working on the outside. We do a spit shine on the outside. You know how we used to do those shoes. We start working on things like losing weight. But I'm not just talking about losing weight. 
We start working on things like quitting smoking and, and more exercise and spending less money and saving more and being a better parent, thinking only on good things and keeping our mouths shut, and yet and still we're boiling over on the inside. That ain't what I'm talking about. I'm talking about being a new Christ, creature in Christ. And all of these things we can do. We can be, be a new creature in Christ, but we got to be. He told Nicodemus we must be. Must be born again. God is saying to me, and what I'm trying to explain to you, I'm talking about a brand new level of newness than what we have been accustomed to. I'm talking about a new creature in Christ. God sent his son Jesus Christ as a gift for us that we may continually be new. He's calling us to a high level. I'm talking about a level of newness that the elders of the church used to sing about when they said it get every day. They said it gets sweeter and sweeter and every rung goes higher and higher. So to be a new creature, Jesus said, you have to be born again. You have to be changed, and the change is from the inside out and not from the outside in. Now that you, now I'm not saying that I know everything, but I'm speaking to even the folks that know the Lord. I'm speaking from the vantage point that the Lord reminded us in Galatians 6 to 9 that we should not become weary and well-doing. He said, because if we don't become weary and we pursue him, he says, we would reap in due season. So as this year draws to a close, Jesus is saying to all of us, receive my peace. My peace is still your deepest need, and I, your prince of peace, long to pour myself into your needness. My abundance and your emptiness are a perfect match. I designed you to have no sufficiency. In other words, you can't do it by yourself. I created you as a jar of clay set apart for my sacred use and that I might fill you with my very being, my spirit. Therefore, study to know me. Study to show yourself approved. When you are treated rudely, do not be tempted to offer rudeness in return. You do not have to be uh, snide and vengeful and resentful, but be truthful and stand for righteousness. Let go of the city petty issues and focus your energy on me. Instead of being negatively controlled by anger, be positively prepared by my peace. The kind of peace that surpasses all understanding. Be better, not out of arrogance or spite or pride, but out of the desire to allow nothing to exalt itself above your knowledge of me. That's what the Lord is telling us. Jesus said, if you want to be a new creature, remain in me and I remain in you. He said, no branch can bear fruit by itself unless it remains in me. He says, I am the vine and you are the branches. And shallow and visitors, if we want to be new creatures and have a better life, we simply need to remain in him. God bless you this evening and happy new year. Amen. Amen. Amen.